There is breaking news about Tesla Robotaxi that is going kind of unnoticed. Did you realize that Tesla just began limited Robotaxi service with full self-driving beta 10 11 1 update? Welcome back friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel and help us to reach our goal and go beyond 70,000 to 100,000 subscribers. I would greatly appreciate it and like this video if you find what am I what I'm about to say helpful. So Elon Musk for years has been promising level 5 autonomy is just around the corner to no avail. However, with the release of Tesla's full self-driving beta 10.11.1 to LVCC Loop Teslas, the electric vehicle maker has taken the first bold step in the company's robotaxi future. And I'm about to tell you what LVCC, the boring company in Las Vegas, told in a review, in a release. Now, but since Tesla began the autopilot program back in 2014, CEO Elon Musk has been promising full self-driving is just around the corner. However, more than half a decade away, all Tesla vehicles still require a driver behind the seat, which is a good thing. That is until now, with Tesla's latest full self-driving beta update, FSD V10.11.1, the electric vehicle maker's vehicles have begun shuttling passengers in a fully autonomous fashion, at least in a limited scope in Las Vegas. Elon Musk's other ventures. The boring company currently utilizes Tesla vehicles to shuttle passengers in the company's tunnels. Until now, even though the Tesla vehicles autonomously drive through the tunnels, the boring company still required safety drivers behind the seat. However, with the release of FSD Beta 10.11.1, Tesla, Elon Musk, and the boring company finally feel confident enough with the electric vehicle maker's self-driving software to remove the driver completely and let the Tesla drive through the tunnel in a fully autonomous fashion. This incredible update comes from Las Vegas Loop, Boring Company Twitter page, which wrote Wednesday evening, the Boring Company activated FSD 10 -1 for its entire LVCC vehicle fleet and ran several test vehicles without drivers. Many conference attendees enjoyed a flawless journey. LVCC stands for Las Vegas Convention Center. That tweet came from Las Vegas Convention Center and Boring Loop LV. The LVCC Loop is the Boring Company's first commercially operational loop service. Unlike a traditional subway system, which costs billions and utilizes trains to go from point A to point B, the Las Vegas Loop service utilizes smaller tunnels and Tesla vehicles to shuttle passengers from one side of LVCC to another side. And it's going to expand, I think, the last I heard all the way to California. And beginning today, anyone using the LVCC Loop can experience firsthand Tesla's fully autonomous robotaxi future. Admittedly, as compared to surface streets, the Boring Company tunnels have fewer variables, ergo they are, fee they are far easier for autonomous vehicles to traverse. Still, the Boring Company shuttles are stock Tesla vehicles similar to the ones you can order online. This means, theoretically, any Tesla owner can drive into the tunnels, take the back seat, and be driven in his or her fully autonomous Tesla. This is still a long way, of course, from Elon Musk's dream of sitting on the East Coast and your car being able to pick up your autonomously all the way from the West Coast. Or when not in use, being able to send your Tesla out to work as a robotaxi and earn you additional income. However, Tesla engineers have been working their hardest behind the scene to make this dream come true. And if you closely follow the advancement of Tesla FSD software with every iteration, this future doesn't seem to be far out, friends. 
we will be sure to keep you posted as Tesla advances the FSD software. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, friends, and also that will help us to reach our goal. Help me please, please to reach our goal of 70,000 subscribers and go beyond close to 100,000 with your help. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. So what do you think? Excited, fully autonomous Teslas have finally come to existence. How long do you think it will take for Tesla to solve level five autonomy? Let me know, friends, in your thoughts in the comment section below. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you and with the world. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. A new Tesla subscription service is coming to select US cities starting at $995 per month. You think it's FSD? No, it's not full self-driving, but it's $995 per month. Is that cheap or no? Let's find out. Some people say this is cheap because it's about monthly rental. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here viewing first time, please help us subscribe to our channel. Help us reach 70,000 plus subscribers. We're 69,000 plus. I would greatly appreciate it. And give us thumbs up if you like this report and find it informative and helpful. So customers who want to try living with a Tesla without committing to a purchase or lease may find exactly what they're looking for in a new service launching next month in select US cities, especially in California, Los Angeles, and New York. Kite, a startup that delivers rental cars to customers' homes, is expanding into the vehicle subscription business the company announced today on Thursday. It's starting with the Tesla Model 3. Starting April 15, customers in San Francisco and New York City, including New Jersey, uh, Jersey City, will be able to purchase a Tesla Model 3 subscription in three month, six month, and 12 month terms. Kite says it plans to expand the service to all of its 14 markets. How do you find the prospect of um, having the Tesla for an entire month and paying $995? Now, does that sound cheap or no? The subscription differs from leasing in that Kite takes care of ownership hassles like registration, liability, insurance, maintenance, and roadside assistance. If all this is taken care of by Kite, then this sounds like a good deal, right? If you can own a Tesla for a month, if you would like to give it a try for an entire month, two months or three months, or even a year. Kite also delivers the vehicle to a customer's door and lets them cancel at the end of each month's contract or extend uh, their subscription. Subscribers aren't locked into a leasing term. We clearly see a gap between short-term rentals and leasing or buying vehicles, and we think subscription is the answer. Eric Zahleker, Kite's director of new products, told uh, Insider in an email. People don't want to wait in line for their groceries, food, shopping, or their car rental. They expect it to be delivered to them. They expect convenience, and um, they expect... Uh, uh, the, uh, and that's what we're providing. Actually, that's what Kite is providing to these new uh, Tesla subscribers. To be honest, when I saw Tesla new Tesla subscription is coming, I thought it's about FSD and FSD $995 a month. Wow, that's very expensive because uh, the FSD have prices have been going up and now it's been a lot in the news, FSD, full self-driving, and now $995. But when I started going more into the news, I realized it's about monthly leasing. Kite is launching the service with the Model 3 long range, which has all-wheel drive and 358 miles of range. The costs are as follows, plus a $299 startup fee, uh, $1,350 per month for three months, $1,125 per month for six months, and $995 per month if you own it for 12 months. No, 12 months, that's kind of expensive, but considering insurance is part of it, may sound um, reasonable, right? Depending on where you are and what's the insurance in your city. Leasing the $54,490 $54, luxury sedan for 36 months, though Tesla costs $4,500 down and $629 per month, according to the automaker's website. For years, Automakers have tried vehicle subscription 
that let customers frequently swap for a different model. But most of the services, which are typically more expensive than leasing, have not caught on in any significant way, friends. BMW, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, and Cadillac have all closed their subscription programs that they had for a while. Both, but other companies continue to make a go of it. Hertz's My Car Service, for example, costs between $599, that's $600, and $1,399 per month. California startup Autonomy launched in January with a Tesla Model 3 subscription that's similar to Kites. While the company declines to go into specifics, Kites said it will add hundreds of electric vehicles to its subscription fleet this year and thousands in 2023. It plans to introduce additional models over time. Well, I will not be subscribed to see Kite uh, adding, for example, Mustang Mach-E, which I'm test driving these days, which I liked very much, friends or other electric vehicles such as Nissan Leaf or the upcoming Nissan Aria or Chevy Bolt. Because I see in public when I drive an electric vehicle, a lot of people are interested. They are um, now very much interested to see no gas tank or not going to gas stations or not having a combustion engine. So what do you think about this service? Do you think the prices are reasonable? Would you like to try one? Or is anyone here listening to this report a Kite uh, subscriber, Tesla subscriber? Let me know friends in the comment section below and please subscribe to our channel help us to reach our goal of going beyond 70,000 subscribers today we would greatly appreciate it our goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers and we are 99,900 something this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com have a great day and please give us thumbs up for this report if you found it helpful and I'll see you soon in our next report God bless you everyone and peace to the world